Hello there, it's me, Zarev, here again. Today I'm here to show you a couple of tips of uh, Smashbook stuff that perhaps aren't proper Smashbook, Smashbook stuff. This is something that it's a memo bo book uh, with TVs. I mean, if you're going to make a TV series layout or something, you could actually just take these, perhaps even print out the picture of that TV series or even the logo for it. And then you can just list your favorite TV programs or films or something. That could be nice. So it's a package of quite a few. I think it's hundred or a hundred of these actually. And it wasn't that much. So I bought this in a store that's called Tiger or Tiger. So I was really excited when I found this yesterday, really. <clears throat> and in the same store I actually found a memo block book for the the watches. And I mean these could be used for scrapbooking as well. So this is nice, isn't it? And I'm thinking that you might actually even just take a photo or something round to put here if you don't want to uh, showcase the clock uh, thing there. And then I saw these mustaches. I mean, <laughs> I have been wondering why are these so popular nowadays? I mean, you have stamps, you have dyes, you have all sorts of things for these uh, mustaches. And then I came to think about when I saw Hercule Poirot, Agatha Christie's uh, detective, and he has a mustache sort of like this. And then I'm going to show you up close now. You know, I have fallen in love with Amy Farrah Fowler. Uh, she, oh, she, she's not Amy. It, it, from the Big Bang Theory, it's May and Bialik, actually, she's called. But in this scene here, she's on a date with... Um, hmm, I'm not sure what he's called now. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There, he's, he's there somewhere, I can't remember. And, uh, well, she's, she thinks that the date is going pretty poorly, so she's just drawing herself a moustache on her finger and asking him, I mean, I'm here to have a fantastic date and I'm prepared to do this to break up the conversation. And uh, are you ready to do that? So I was thinking that if I were to do something similar with that photo, I could actually use this. So it's a pad of quite a few moustaches, so I'm thinking this could do for some nice journaling spots, really. So this is the first time I really felt like I could use this, as well as do something steampunky with them, or if I would make something with the Hercule, Hercule Poirot theme. So it could be nice, you know. So it sort of got me going there. And then I saw these talk bubbles, or what you call these. I mean, these are nice, aren't they? I mean... They're just cut to shape and uh, you could do your uh, doodling and whatever you want to do on them. And then I saw these. I mean, I was on a hunt for different kinds of papers and um, ways to do your uh, journaling in that smash book. But when I saw these, I couldn't just choose one. I had to go for all four of them, you know. So this one says shopping list, and it actually has got a shopping cart there, and some pink lines, and it's all right, I think, 60 sheets, and it was 20 crowns, I mean, 20, it isn't much, you have to divide it by 6 or 7, so let's say 3 dollars or something, it wasn't that much, could it be 3 dollars, I'm not sure, 20 crowns anyway, and here is something that says remember, and there's a question, um, apostrophe there. No, hmm, exclamation mark perhaps. And you know, what I do fancy with these pads is that it does have the word in English. It does have it in Finnish, muista. And it also has it in Swedish, kom ihåg. I mean, and if you're a Norwegian, husk. So you can actually learn languages with these as well. And shopping list, ostos lista, or uh, shopping lista, well that's, it could be in ships lista as well, I think. To do, or it's either D Danish or Norwegian, I'm not sure, tehtävät in Finnish, I mean it's proper tehtävät. Finnish is a funny language, I think, at göra, and message, meddelande, Swedish. Besked, Danish or Norwegian, perhaps both. Viesti. It's a, it's a proper language finish. It's so hard and it's really robust. 
So, and then I found something that's called millimeter paper. And by looking at this small grid pattern, you see what I'm where I'm heading at. So I found this. And I went mad. I just had to have it. And I oh, and immediately I started wishing, oh, does it come in many colours? It didn't, of course. This is supposed to be something that architects draw on. So that gave me the idea, perhaps I should find a store that sells papers for architects. Perhaps there's some more goodies I can use in my smashbooking. And then I went for this one. It's just regular grids and lines, but they are white on grey. So that's a bit different, isn't it? So there are the grids, and then there are some lines over here. So I got myself a big pad. I'm thinking I could cut these to size. I could even, perhaps if I'm inclined, either to put a black piece of paper underneath to make it, give it a frame, or I could actually draw the line with a, with a pen or something. But I'm thinking that the actually matting this with a black paper or red paper or whatever colour I want to could do the trick. So here are some tips for different kinds of scrapbooking really. And the moustache and the clock and the shopping list and the... I mean these are all fabulous products so I'm happy to share these with you. So when you're out looking for scrapbooking stuff put these glasses on you see so you can see all these goodies. Don't let them just lie on their shelves. Bring them home. Alright, bye bye.